news. President-elect Joe Biden's transition team moving forward, even as President Trump refuses to concede. NBC News reports the team already has 4,300 people picked to fill positions. CNBC's Eamon Javers on the top story in the bottom of the hour. Eamon, who's in? Chef, we can expect the president-elect to name his teams to go into each of these federal agencies within days, but it's those cabinet-level officials that we might not hear about until about December. Aides say the president-elect is going to follow the Obama transition model from back in 2008. Now, uh, the, the vice president has announced plans to tackle the economic recovery, racial equality, uh, and climate change early in his term, but the General Services Administration, which is controlled by a Trump appointee, has not yet allowed Biden's transition team access to federal agencies and briefing books. Some say that should happen right away. Every day of a transition counts. We want the Biden team to be ready on a health plan, on our national security, to help the economy get back on track. And that's why it's so important for the transition process to start, because every day counts. Now, Biden's inner circle consists of a group of longtime aides and some new allies, including Ron Klain, the leading candidate for White House chief of staff, who served as chief of staff for Biden as vice president. Jake Sullivan is a former vice presidential national security advisor and could play a national security or a domestic role. And Simone Sanders is a contender for White House press secretary. She was a senior advisor with the Biden campaign who would be the first black woman to hold that post. And Shep, I can tell you that a Biden transition advisor told me that one thing people are going to be looking for here is to see how many Obama administration formers go into this administration versus how many of the longtime Biden aides dating back to his Senate days go in. And that could give you a sense of whether this is going to feel more like a third term for President Obama or a first term for Joe Biden, Shep. Amen, Javers. Thanks so much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.